This is definitely a more of a special album for Prince to say the least because this was with the revolution Prince and the revolution which is a pretty good pretty good setup a pretty good pretty good lineup I think we, we got of course the previous album Purple Rain which is one of the most iconic albums ever and I've reviewed that a while ago and maybe I'm gonna re-review it because it was a while back and maybe I want to revisit it again but maybe I'm gonna do that maybe I don't this album is requested by Dylan Coren and he wanted me to do almost the entire Prince discography so we're gonna do that up until Love Symbol when Prince dropped off the map with Scum and other lackluster albums so, so there is definitely a highlight around the 80s and uh, early 90s of uh, Prince career and Around the World is I believe exactly in the middle of that it was released in 1985 so it was around uh, around the middle of the time and yeah it is kind of it is kind of the same way with my opinion about the, about the album it is not the worst around that time but it is also not the best you had tremendous albums in the uh, previously uh, like Dirty Minds, uh, 1999 and Purple Rain to well and then uh, you have to follow Purple Rain up so that is one of the most difficult difficult things to do by any band and yeah this is not exactly Purple Rain part 2 but um, but, but still if, if we're pretending if this album or if Purple Rain didn't exist then this would still be a pretty good album around the world is has a decent length it isn't really long like 1999 which was a bit stretched out in my opinion but <clears throat> this is still a really enjoyable record um, yeah well, well <coughs> I, um, yeah this album I, I think the highlights of this album are that the high points of this album are that uh, the length it is pretty solid it is pretty consistent the production is all right but it isn't uh, as good as on 1999 and uh, purple rain which had almost perfect production on there and i i think that around the world didn't have that same quality to it still an enjoyable record but a bit lackluster in 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 that department Let's go into the track listing a bit. The song has, uh, or the album has, nine tracks, I believe. Yeah, so it is pretty consistent. That is one thing I really, really like, like about it. Yeah, and we start off with uh, with the title track, which is "Around the World in a Day." Pretty uh, catchy, upbeat tune. Uh, yeah, just a lot of pounding drum beats in the back, with uh, Prince, of course, talking really softly. Uh, just um, in in the main lead uh, really good mixing on there uh, yeah really love the love the song definitely a highlight of the record Paisley Park is a bit of the same a bit of the same uh, four minutes in length pretty good tune um, yeah really enjoyed it as well uh, yeah Prince is a bit more present on there and also some catchy guitar hooks are really well played on this track Really shows that the Revolution is a good band together with Prince. Really good mix up. N yeah, of course. Later, I would say they got a pretty good album together again, and uh, with Purple Rain, of course, being one of Prince's highlights. Then we get Condition of the Heart, which is also a good tune, but it is a bit stretched out because it is almost seven minutes long and. We have some really silent parts which don't really add something to the song. Still a good song in my opinion, but uh, not perfect. Uh, Raspberry Bird is um, yeah pretty catchy commercial song, three and a half minutes long. So it has the recipe for um, for a perfect commercial song, right? But Raspberry Bird is um, pretty catchy, pretty upbeat, but also in the same uh, in the same tone. A bit more in depth, so um, it has all the qualities to be a, a single, and I believe it was. It was a single. Uh, yes, it was the first single, so there we are. 
Oh uh, yeah, pretty catchy single with uh, some more in-depth or it, it is a bit more deeper than your average uh, pop song on the radio. And then we got the fifth song which is Tambourine. Tambourine is also a really light tune, uh, really catchy as well. Uh, the title track is really repeated throughout this track but I really like it as well because it is uh, really fast paced, it is over before you know it because it is under the 3 minute mark. So this album is already really more consistent than uh, 1999 but the thing is with 1999 there were so many great songs on there but the main problem I had with that record is that uh, all the songs were a bit too long for me and the thing is with this album this is uh, exactly the opposite I'm not saying that the album is too short because it has a good length it has actually pretty perfect length around the 40 minute mark so that's pretty good but I, I think that uh, 1999 had uh, really um, almost perfect songs on there but the length again and the the problem is with this album that it doesn't have uh, it doesn't have a Wendover's Cry, it doesn't have a 1999, it doesn't have a um, a Dirty Mind track on there, it doesn't have a, a, uh, a, golden, a golden masterpiece song on there which is the main problem I think with the record it doesn't have a main uh, or it doesn't have um, a classic Prince tune. Well, we ha it, we have some good tunes on there which you can consider classic, but not among his top ten best. Uh, uh, if you would make a top ten, probably that there would be no song on there. That that is the main thing I'm saying. Um, yeah, and the second side is a bit more lackluster. I would say still good. Uh, America was about, I believe, the just about the revolution and uh, the government, I believe talking about uh, the American society it, it, it was well played on there, the lyrics were pretty on point but it didn't re do really a lot for me because I'm not really into that kind of stuff but if you are then this track is pretty good for you uh, Pop Life, uh, pretty catchy as well, pretty uh, marketed towards the radio which I'm not the biggest fan of but if it is, uh, is done really right which well nowadays it isn't but um, but still, Pop Life is a catchy tune as well. Uh, y you maybe can get that from the uh, from Pop itself that it has Pop in the title, so go figure. Uh, the latter is a bit of a more serious uh, tune, which is saying that uh, everybody needs uh, the latter, everybody needs to step up, everybody needs that that extra helping stepping stone, which is definitely uh, accurate. So this is a really relatable song and it is all about the love. And I, I believe we have a, a devilish overtone on here that, um, that there's one de devilish voice or, or that is maybe on the... No, I believe it is on the last song so let's go to that song. Uh, Temptation is I think my favorite song of the record because it is really in-depth and it has a really funny tran uh, transition in the middle because... Uh, we, we have one really uh, weird uh, intertone, really weird interchange where there's a really low speaking um, transgender maybe or maybe just a male in general, uh, maybe a god or a devil, something, uh, a figure like that is talking to Prince and uh, it is basically saying um, you, you, you don't deserve this, you just got die. He's just really saying that nonchalant. Yeah, and Prince is just basically uh, begging and just crying on his knees, saying that. Um, yeah, just just saying, please don't kill me. What 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 can I do better to deserve this life, to deserve this love? And he learned in the end that it wasn't all about uh, sex, where he is mainly talking about on this tracks, which I. Um, didn't talk about it because well he, he did that on almost every record so it is a bit repetitive that he is always talking about that and he, he is saying in that song that he isn't gonna or that sex isn't Im as important as love and that is the main um, I think the main lesson of this album here and well yeah Sherlock I, I knew that already so um, yeah I think that Prince Try to learn a lesson here with the last track. Uh, yeah, I already knew it. If you didn't know it, good for you, but there we are. Um, but overall, really enjoyed the record. Uh, 
yeah, I think it is a bit lackluster compared to 1999 and uh, Purple Rain. So still good record, but not his best. Yeah, and definitely a bit of a disappointment if you compare to uh, its predecessors. Definitely not the, uh, Prince's best record, but what I really like about this record is that uh, it is together with the Revolution, and I think that is a great band. But unfortunately, they only they only made three records together in a time span of two years, so that is a bit unfortunate. But I would still give the album a 8.2. Still really enjoyed it, but not among Prince's best, but still. Uh, still a classic album though, I think. Hope you've enjoyed this album review. Let me know what you think about Around the World in a Day. I thought it was a pretty good record. Let me know what you think about the record in the in, in the comments down below. We will talk about it if you will. Enjoy.